Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspire 15 3000 series laptop. In this exact model is a model 3505, the regulatory model is a P90F004. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery for your laptop. If your battery is not holding up any more charge or just discharging really quickly and then you might want to replace it. And by replacing your battery, you're not going to change any configuration, anything in the system. Everything is going to be the same. Just remember, once you remove the battery and you plug back in the new one, when you power on, it might take up to 5 to 10 or 15 seconds before it starts booting. So don't panic. And I'll give you a nice tip at the end of the video, how to keep your battery in a good shape. And you should do that at the beginning of the, once you install the new battery. But with all that said, we're just going to power on the laptop. We're going to flip it upside down and we're going to see a whole bunch of screws and we're going to go over and grab ourselves a screwdriver set. And we, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself the basic set. And for the opening tools, I'll be recommending to use a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable for opening cases and covers. And the soft edges will not will prevent it from scratching the plastic. All right. Now, on the bottom here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove all the screws except the two back corners. We're not going to touch these ones, and there's a reason for it. We're going to leave it for the last. So first, we start removing the back, mat, back screws, two of them side screws and the four in the front of the laptop. Go ahead and remove them and keep them in one pile because all the screws are the same size. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, the reason that we left these screws for the end, it's because the screw has a little C-lock on the other side. The C-lock will prevent the screw from coming out entirely and is going to help you to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. So as soon as I start rotating this, you're going to see a gap opening in there. There we go. And you're going to stop it when you hear like a few clicks, that's when you want to stop rotating. If you keep rotating, nothing's going to happen. You're just going to get tired and fall asleep. Same thing on this side. Keep rotating, separation, keep rotating, few more seconds, and that's it. Now, all you want to do, grab the opening tool, and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there, and you just want to peel it off. I'm going to stick about two or three millimeter in. I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick. So, two or three millimeter, and just wiggle around the front. You want to, If you hear those big click sound, that's fine. So those are the clips are getting loose, those are tiny clips right there. Those are getting loose, so do that all around. You don't need to do the back mid, so do the side and the front. Put it down, grab the case, wiggle it around a little bit, and it will snap the back side out. Right. Now, down here, there's a battery. The battery is a Dell 42 watt hour battery, 11.4 volt, and to remove it is really, really simple. All you need to do is to put your fingers at the side of this jack, once you lift up this paper thing, right at, right at the side here in the corners, and then you want to pull it towards the battery and it will disconnect it right there. Once you have disconnected, remove one, two, three screws, two on one side and one on the other side. Now that you remove the screw, you can just lift up from the front upward and push it towards the fan because there's a tiny hinge here. This one in here, it goes right underneath. Bring it up. So there's your battery. The model for this one, it is, let me find it. After five hours of looking, I should be able to find it. I think this is some Chinese letter. It says model is an YRDD6. That's the model number. They should have said it in English somewhere, but they don't. 
And the exact, if you want to purchase from the Dell website, you have to give them this part number. Okay, it says DT is a part number 01VX1H. But if you want to buy it off market, you want to go with the Chinese model right here, is YRDD6. Now, let's say that you got a new battery in. You need to remove the connector from the old one. So you just want to grab it tightly from the here and pull it back. So recycle your battery, keep this cable, grab the new battery, grab this cable, and slide it straight the same way. Don't put it that way around. It's not going to go in, but you have to put it only one way that goes in. It's up it all the way nice and tight inside. You see it goes all the way in, so you don't see the pins. Once you have that one in there, you want to put the bottom back in under this plastic hook. Hook it right in there and bring it down and put it right in there. You can go ahead and slide the connector straight inside the jack. Make sure you put it straight in. Do not go sideways. And then you want to finish it off by putting the three screws that you removed from the battery. Two on one side and one on the other side. There we go. Now, once we finish with that one, just grab the bottom cover. This is very important. Put it on top. Do not squeeze anything. Just keep it right on top straight. And start screwing the corner and watch the cover getting pulled to the side, to the inside the case. Now, once you tighten up the screws on the side, you want to push the back mate. You want to hit those nice click sounds on the side, in the front. So big, huge click sounds. Once you hear all that, then you want to stop putting the rest of the screws. Now, regarding the initial charge and discharge, it is very important. Once you put a new battery in your laptop, you do not want to power on the laptop at all. You want to leave it off. You want to connect the charger and leave it charging at least for three to four hours. After the three to four hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected. And you want to discharge the battery slowly. Put the brightness down to 50% or less and let it watch a video, YouTube videos or whatever you like, a movie, but no heavy load. And once it's down to 30-20%, then you want to power it off and then you want to connect the charger, leave it charging at least for 3 to 4 or 5 hours. After that, you can just use it as you wish. That initial charge and discharge is very important and crucial for the new batteries. And you can do that process once every two months to keep your battery in the best performance state. Again, I hope you guys like this video and help you guys to do your own removal or replacement for your battery for your Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.